All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a video you already shot. So I'm going to pick one that will show you the edit process to the best um, of my ability. All right, so anyway, I'm just going to open this one up. So this is a video here of, um, I've got the sound muted, of um, a uh, traffic control car. And what they do is they drive around and they've got cameras on it and they just look at your license plate and that uh, tells us tells them if uh, you owe money but what we're going to do to edit this we're just going to go up to the top here and click this and now we're in the ed editing uh, feature on uh, the iPhone 13 so if you look at the bottom the first thing you notice you've got this timeline well you could sh trim this by just pulling it so if I pulled it let's say to here and then I hit done it would shorten that video. The clip would start here and end there. Let's just watch it. This is the traffic uh, car. So that shortens it. Uh, cameras on it. And all it does is scan your license plate. And if you're cool with that, that so then you would come down here and you would just hit done. And if I did that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me, save as a new video clip. I'm gonna hit that yes. That way I don't lose this one. All right, so let's go back in. Let's look at the edit process here. And um, we went through the timeline and trimming it. That's what we just did. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here, we're gonna click on this thing here, and this is um, different things that you can do with exposure and brightness and vibrance and things like that and highlights. So let's click on that. All right, so what it does is it opens up this little deal doohickey here. You could do an auto edit where you let the camera's brain do it. And what you would do is just like hit that and then it would, you know, do whatever it thinks needs to be done in the video. But if you wanna do it manually, you come to this one, this is exposure. If I slide this little thing here, it changes it. That's brighter, that's darker, right? But let's go ahead and put it back to where it was. Go to the next one, that's highlights. This is interesting. Go one way and notice how it kinda of even changes the color. Go this way and it changes. Come back to the center, that's where it uh, shot it. And this is shadows. Now watch what happens. It either takes the shadow out or it puts the shadow uh, back. Takes it out, puts, puts it back deeper. Let's put it back in there. Now let's go to contrast. This is interesting. Look at that. Gets all dark there, right? Go that way. Kind of lightens it up a little bit, taking the contrast out between objects. Next one is brightness. And it's kind of like exposure a little bit, just a little bit different. See how it gets really good, more color in it? And you go that way and then you've got black point and this is interesting so look at the difference in, as it changes doesn't really change it that much on this on this video saturation you want more color go that way you want less color go that way <laughs> that's saturation then you get uh, vibrance and this is you know kind of like the same thing I, I, there's a lot of these things that are a little bit redundant uh, the temperature it's going to go blue or more red or orange go back to there then you got tint which is kind of like the same thing you know they say you get a little more purples and greens in there and then you come to sharpness now watch how sharp it gets you see that less sharp more sharp but you really can't see it too much on this video where's the center at oh look that's where it was at that's where it, it picked it <laughs> that's weird and then you've got definition so you can get Notice the change, a little bit, that subtle change there. And this is where we were at. We're at the end of that one. And there's noise reduction. If I go this way, it smooths it out a little bit, but you can't really see it on this. And then the last one is, uh, it, it kind of, this one pull, makes it look like an old, old timey photo where it kind of pulls in and shadows the edges. And those are all the different uh, things you can do. Now, if you want to just, if you're lazy and you want to just do filters, you got original, you got uh, vivid, you got vivid warm, you got vivid cool, you got dramatic, you got dramatic warm, you got dramatic cool, you got mono, you got silver tone, and then you got noir. So those are the different ones you can do there. Let's just go back to the original. And then the last thing is you can crop it, all right? And um, there's a couple ways you can do this. Up here, you could just press on this on these boxes, and it's gonna give you these different things that you can do. You got free form, where you could just go anywhere and do that, right? Or you can do this too. You can take your fingers, put it on the inside, and you can like basically zoom it, get closer, get farther away. Or you could do a square, 
Or you could do 916, which is kind of like cinematic, but you know, this is more for like a portrait. You go 4-5, you get 5-7. These are different ratios. 3-4, 3-5, 3-2, or you can come back to the original and you know you can decide what you want to do with that and then if you're good with all those things you can hit done right now let's go back to edit again and um, let's go in here again and I want to show you this so this one here you can twist it up if you look up here you can move it watch you see that now watch this now I can take the same video and I can flip it watch this let me just do it with this finger so you can see now it's just, it's counter, it's backwards. It's like a mirror image of itself. To get back to the original, you just go like that. All right, so let me just hit it again, watch. And back. And then you got a reset button up here. It just brings it back to the original. And that's pretty much all the different um, uh, video edits that you can do. I mean, this one here, when you click it, it just brings that timeline up. This one here gives you the different things that you can do as far as exposure and brilliance. This one here gives you some, you know, filters that you can put in. And this one here is the crop uh, feature on it. And then this is the done feature. Bam, done. And there you are. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. and Check out my other awesome videos where I show you how to do stuff. Peace out.